some time ago, I was curious about what would happen if I hooked up a fan to a speaker output, and much to my surprise, it works the same way, because it works on the same principles. It's an electromagnetic, uh, electromagnet with a, uh, like a fixed position magnet or something, and so, uh, yeah, it works the same way, and actually a fan works really well, because you've got the output from the electromagnetic mag uh, magnetivity, or whatever you would call that, plus uh, the sound from the wind speed, you've got that going on, so you've got two, uh, two ways there for that uh, as a speaker. But then I was curious, and I thought, hey, what would happen if I hooked up a motor, you know, just uh, like a, a vibrating motor to, let's say, uh, a subwoofer output. And so uh, I did that once before, and it sounded pretty cool. But then I thought, i got to take it to another level. So I decided to build up a little array, there's a little circuitry going on, of uh, three different uh, motors from uh, uh, PlayStation controllers. And we've got a uh, small one, a medium one, a large one. So uh, as you can imagine, we've got the high, the mids, and the lows, right? And then uh, I decided to make it fancy. I added a light and some uh, resistance and a little bit of a... I don't use solder on anything, so I like uh, electrical tape the hell out of it. Um, and so yeah, I uh, thought it sounded pretty cool when I listened to it last, so let's uh, give it a shot. <laughs> I like the fame, I got this girl in this time 